Interlock Key Surgical Clinipack. Three standard bearers in operating room supplies and CSSD with a global presence. The three companies have combined forces in the past few quarters and are now about to present a new face to the global market with new opportunities. I'm speaking to Brian O'Connell and we're going to be talking about what this new development brings to the market and what advantages. Brian, just starting off, give us some information about the company for which you were responsible for this fusion of, of Key Surgical. So uh, my business partner and I acquired Key Surgical back in 2005. And the company's been in business since 1988 and grown every year since we've been in business. But back in June, we found a, a way to come together with Interlock and Clinipac and create one bigger, more diversified global distribution organization. Okay, and now what was the idea behind the, the fusion of these companies? Right. Well, it's a very exciting opportunity because historically Key Surgical was mainly a U.S.-based company from a revenue standpoint. Interlock had a very strong revenue turnover in Germany and continental Europe. And Clinipac, which is our U.K. business, had a very strong market presence in the U.K. and some export out of the U.K. So when we bring these three companies together, we're much more diversified from a global perspective. Our revenue is only 50% U.S. and 50% outside the U.S. now. And we can service our customers better because we have a physical location not only in the U.S., but a location outside of Hamburg, Germany, and outside of London, England. So we're bringing together a broader range of products. We're bringing together easier to do business with customers. And hopefully that creates a, a selling engine and a, a service engine for our customers that we can grow our business even faster than we've done in the past. You obviously speak very positively about these developments, but with change in general, especially in a business sense, combination of companies can cause pain points. How are you dealing with that? Yeah, that's a great question because we don't want to do this to have any kind of disturbance or pain from a business or a customer perspective. When you take three businesses and bring them together, there's always questions and challenges. So the first thing we told our customers in our business is what happens tomorrow is going to be the same as yesterday. Our brands remain the same because each three companies' brand is strong in their local markets and we don't want to do anything to tarnish the value of those brands. Secondly, we communicated to all our employees on day one in the morning and said this is a great thing for the business, but tomorrow your job is the same as it is today. So we haven't changed anything from the employee perspective. We did say there's work to be done. So there's work to be done to figure out how we can better cross-sell each other's products in each other's geographies. We have to figure out things like transfer pricing and inventory levels and trying to get some synergies from common suppliers and those kind of things. We also have to put everybody on the same computer system. We all three operate on three different computer systems and to report financial numbers and sales figures. That's work, but that's not uh, impossible work. That's just good hard work to be done and it'll make the company better to go forward. Now you mentioned with, with the, the fusion of these three entities, you talked about uh, the improvement in, in market access geographically and that what possibilities are now available to you as a larger combined entity? Well, there's great possibilities from an expanding a product breadth portfolio. So when we look at going to market, our customers want one source where they can get a wide range of products. So when things go out to bid or we try to break into new business, we can offer this one-stop shop to provide as many of the products they need from one place. So that only increases with this opportunity. Secondly, we have greater leverage from a supply standpoint where we can actually try to lower our costs and therefore, therefore be more competitive in certain markets where we need to be because we can leverage common suppliers and a greater purchasing power that we have. And on top of that, we can harmonize our marketing messages and sales force so that we're a, more a well-tuned machine as three businesses than we were with three separate businesses, if you will. Brian O'Connell, thank you very much for speaking with us today.